Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scramble Rage Words Cast. I'm Matt Clement. I'm Nikki Powell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. Mm. Episode 103. Dun, 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 dun. Some some people said we'd never make it this far. And those, those people, included. <laughs> yeah, that's. Well, you know. It's, uh, maybe, and maybe. you know what? I'm breaking the streak. What? No one died last week of significance. I, no, you just haven't looked hard enough. I'm sure I guess, somebody but li- I'm sure I, somebody I'm died. I'm sure some minor, no one famous and important to, to us. society. Yeah. There's there's a listener out there going, my grandpa, yeah, really. Randy died last week. But was he in a movie from 1946? Fuck, no, yeah, he was. You know. Yeah, I think I know two people who had family members die this week. Oh, well, see, there you go. Uh, but but yeah, no no celebrities. No celebrities. Don't, don't so. Does my will to live count? <laughs> but here's something Matt might want and can never have. Oh, uh, well, that's, G, that, that's a long-ass list. Will to live. Yeah. Pepsi Perfect gives us the 2015 Back to the Future 2 promise. This is They're what? putting out. Oh, the Pepsi Perfect, yes. Pepsi Perfect from Black. Now, here's the deal, Isn't though. Isn't this stuff really expensive? There's only going to be like 6,000 of them made, and they're 20 bucks a piece. Hmm. And they have like the said, Nike shoes that are like five thousand dollars. Yeah, they haven't said how they're doing. If there's only six thousand, is only each state going to get you know a that's few dozen? Not or are they randomly going to be sorted work. in places? That that doesn't work. Yeah, a few dozen per state. So they this has got to be like an <laughs> on, 6, online thousand. I mean, an online there's, there's, thing. There's, there's fifty one states, so they get a couple hundred. <laughs> yeah, but 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 where? Who gets them? Well, New York will get two thousand. They're not allowed. They're not allowed to drink soda in New York. L. A. will get no. You just can't have a forty-four. And ounce. then the the other one hundred has to be distributed to all the other heat. Yeah, the and that's world. what it is. Yeah. It's all going to be L. A. and New York. I'm right. sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. These are flyover states. Pepsi doesn't stop here. Yeah, there's just a map that like it's like East Coast with New York. Down here's in Florida where you retire. California where civilized people and movies are made. Up here. Up here at the north, that's where Nirvana came from. And then there's just this big stretch in the middle that says, here be monsters. There's that. Well, no, there's that one place where Christopher Nolan shoots a lot of his movies. Like Chicago? In, yeah, yeah. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Well, there's nothing murder, west of Chicago. Murder it's capital just basically of the big, world. Uh, it's just a big movie set, basically. Uh, statistics just came out. Someone is shot in Chicago every two and a half hours. Damn. Wow. Yeah. I, uh, I was well. Uh, Don't wear watches, Chicagoans. Uh, I woke up to the sound of gunfire when I was staying up there one time. Nice. I, I, I woke don't up. To, I woke up Chicago. to sirens and a guy running down the street and getting cornered in by the cops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, we, yeah. I woke up to the Cubs losing. <laughs> so like, it's, it's, you woke up a lot. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I tried to I go to a, pretty good this year. <laughs> tried to go to the Music Box Theater one time, which is right in, like a block away from the Wrigley Field. And, but it happened to be a day when the Cubs were playing the White Sox at Wrigley oh, Field. Oh, shit. So there was no parking for two miles, like, <laughs> in any direction. Uh, I didn't, yeah, it didn't even occur to me that that could have been a thing. <laughs> yeah, so, no, that's a crosstown rivalry right there. That's Yeah. Well, in more lighthearted news, Hasbro uh-oh. confirms Transformers 5, 6, 7, and 8 live-action movies. That's Remember whenever I said, you, you remember how you said I said earlier no, about no. losing my will to live? This yeah. might have something <laughs> oh, to do with it, it right here. And, of course, I... <laughs> oh, no, just stop. Yeah, <laughs> please stop. It's mm. already dead. Yeah. It's well, already I mean, dead. they're still making money, right? I guess. That's the problem. Why do people keep going to these movies? I I don't know. There are great movies for out the, there that for the flop. Hope that it gets better, I guess. Yet these keep I, making billions of dollars. I don't. Uh, yeah. They got Mark Wahlberg. Say hello to your mother. Is he for back? Me. Is he coming? I guess they haven't probably released. No, any they detail. haven't. It's just what what is this character's for... name? Something Jaeger or something like that. I haven't it's, seen it. So I don't know. It's like no. Buzz Jaeger or something. They stick two astronauts' <laughs> hey, names hey. and slapped them together. Hey, mm. when you're an inventor like I am. <laughs> Yeah, because I totally Cause, believe cause that. We're inventors, and that's what. If you ever see, there's, the, I haven't seen the movie. Have I shown you the car that makes it little? It's legal for me to fuck a 15 year old. <laughs> oh, no, we no. talked about that. Yeah, right. But you know, I, there's this clips. I think it was. Uh, oh, she said probably uh, 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 a trailer. What's that? What they call it? Uh, uh, honest trailers. trailers. Honest trailers. Where you, so when you're an inventor like I am, hey, I'm an inventor. You know, 
I'm an inventor and you're like me. You know, it's like, no, Mark, Mark Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. You know? <laughs> hey, I try. <laughs> um, hey, damage control is getting on oh, the show. Oh, now, do you think that the damage control thing is a response to Powerless that DC said they were making, which is about an insurance company that covers? They said they were going to do a television series like that. Oh, so I what? didn't know that. Yeah. One, but mm-hmm. okay. So I'm I know gathering... they're doing Powers, or I know but Powers I, is a thing. But damage control sounds is way better because it was actual. Yeah. Comic. It was an actual, it was an actual comic. comic series. Technically, it's which the wasn't. people that come in and clean up after a superhero fight. Right. Okay. So they're always having to deal yeah, with right. like crazy robots or hey, look, there's a nuclear reactor just sitting. Yeah, you know who cleaned up all that shit in New York City when the Chitari shut? That was damage. Control. Yeah, that was damage control. <laughs> Actually, uh, that sounds interesting. It's pretty. Oh. It was a pretty cool. Uh, comic, the, actually. the first issue, it's like, "Hey, man, what's this glowing thing?" And the guy picks it up and hulks out and goes, "No, I'm needed." Hey, office. Yeah, I need another guy down here. Yeah, I, I, one of my guys just had an origin. <laughs> so send me some. Send me another guy. Didn't they have? Isn't this all about they had to get a giant robot out of New York City? Oh or yeah. Something. And, and they, they was, find I out a way. Buy that. I want to find that again because that was. I've got. Good. Oh, I, never mind. I forgot. I threw all those out. Oh. I had hundreds what? of comics in a in a uh, in my old toy chest, mm-hmm. and they just smelled so moldy. Oh, and so and they're you know gone. They, they're gone. I had to throw them out. But yeah, this thing was just. Taller than the Empire State Building. It's yeah. like draped over New York. <laughs> it's like, hey, I found a way to do this. And he like holds up a transmitter and it folds up into a Volkswagen. <laughs> and uh, he just drives it away. So this is, uh, they're talking about a show? Yeah. yeah. There will be a show. I think this uh, ABC. Like, ABC, yeah. really? Yeah, well, it's... It will probably instantly be 100 times better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, yeah. But it sounds more like what... Uh... Hey, when Pee-wee can be an Asgardian. Oh, <laughs> From that Pee-wee happen? from... Pee Wee from uh, Porky's. Oh, Pee-wee I thought Herman. you like Paul Rubens as no, an Asgardian. Yeah, I missed that. How did we not talk about that? <laughs> no, Pee Wee from I'm Porky's. I'm gonna get the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a spot on impression. <laughs> no, uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, it's it seems more in line with like Jessica Jones and and. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, think that'd make a good Netflix series. What's that guy? The other guy, the, the next show that's coming out, Luke uh, Cage. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Luke Where it's Cage. We're sort of like the street level. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. view of the the superhero world. I'm actually looking forward to all of them. I'm, I, Iron Fist is the one I'm, that's yeah. got me the most worried, but it could also be the best. I've been here like people seem mm-hmm. most excited about Iron, Iron Fist. Fist. It could be that one can I mean. go really wrong or really good. Yeah, I, I well, don't I'm not know the character any at all, but I'm excited based on what. I've been hearing from other people. So. Unless I steal your guys' <laughs> yeah. bandwidth. I mean, and we haven't even really seen a. I mean, we've seen Jessica uh, Jones shorts. Or not yeah. shorts, but like yeah, like mini trailers. trailers. I've seen Christian little Ritter's teasers. Shorts yeah, te- very te- teaser trailers. Nice. So yeah, including the new one that I don't know. Did that just come out today? Uh, which was the new one with the jukebox? No, I've not. There's seen one this. with her. Uh, the 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 headline said. Uh, the new trailer with Jessica Jones takes a giant leap or something like oh, that. Oh, no, I haven't I seen that one. I haven't seen yeah. it either. Well, I guess I could probably spoil it. It's just a trailer, right? But, well, uh, yeah, trailers don't know, tend to be very spoilerific. Yeah, it's, it just it's like her, presumably her. It's a woman walking like a, away from the camera from like close up, and then she just like jumps, and then it cuts to her landing on a fire escape, and then you, it kind of cuts back to a shot showing... A sign on the thing that says uh, fifth floor, uh, uh, something investigations. I'm imagining it's her. Yeah, call it alias. Alias, call it alias. That's alias it. Yeah, because yeah. that, that was the name of the book. Okay, it? so she just jumped five stories in the air. Yeah. So okay. Now here's super what they're doing. Person. Now interesting enough, we all know how Marvel's been treating like the Fantastic Four. And <laughs> X- yeah, because they don't own them. So like exactly. Shit. So apparently, this is what's happening in comics. Um. And this has happened recently, within the last couple of years. The Terrigen Mist from the Inhumans mm-hmm. gets released in the atmosphere. Now, this is a story that happened years ago. And, you know, anybody with the Inhuman gene turned into either a monster or got powers, whatever. So, apparently, they're redoing that because, of course, it's a new universe. It's after oh. Secret Wars. Oh, gosh. Where the, the mist is killing mutants. Right. <laughs> Let's get rid of them. Didn't so, we talk about, wasn't this a thing? Hasn't... Maybe. But in in the show Agents of Shield, see, I missed the last couple episodes. I, I, I well, they just back into it. well, they, it just uh, premiered this week. Yeah, I know, but I mean, last season, season. Right, right. So apparently, what happened was someone had one of these Terrigen Mist like bombs, 
Mm-hmm. And they get it underwater, and it blows up, so no yeah, harm, no foul. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's getting in the fish oil. Yeah, the fish, <laughs> it's affecting the fish, which is getting in the... So now mo- anybody who's taking these, like, fish oil pills or whatever is becoming an inhuman. Isn't that yeah. the same plot where Bruce Banner's blood got into a bottle <laughs> of soda from, like, Peru or something? Yeah, but and- that killed almost killed Stan Lee. That didn't turn him No, I want to I wanna <laughs> think that there is a hulked-out Stan Lee rampaging someplace. <laughs> Excelsior Smash! Isn't there? Yes. Oh, I would love it. It would be the greatest. No, the thing Lego, the world. Lego video game. Oh yeah, where he can become the Hulk. the Hulk. But so they're wait so, but they haven't done this yet, uh, or 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 is that what Marvel, they've done? The, Marvel the is in talks that, talking about doing this. Yeah, okay. where this mist is telling because they don't own the mutants anymore. <laughs> so they're trying so to get. And yeah. Fox is like, we ain't right. giving them back. Right. Them. Of course so, not. Even though. Well, like we talked about last week. Well, uh, you know what's yeah. going to be well, sad is leaving. if it finally does. They're like, fine, here, you can have them. They'll be like, oh, shit, now we have to undo all this. Well, you run it into the ground. Well, oh, they'll, I'm sure they'll, they'll... they'll need a new, new excuse to put out four quadrillion number ones again. So, Oh, yeah. well, it's, it's no big shit. What was it? There was years ago, you probably remember, when the, when the X-Men were big because of their movies. Mm-hmm. They introduced that mutants was going to become, it's like uh, Grant Morrison took it over. Hmm. And like his first issue, they really they the that mutants were being born at such a rate that within less than ten generations, the human race would be nearly extinct, <laughs> and just you know um. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mutants. And then what happened? House of M, no more mutants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Down to two hundred. <laughs> uh, well, when clarify, you have such winning mutants like Beak, and, yeah. Uh, Oh, an right. angel who was just a fly that could throw up, and yeah, it's not an angel. Ooh, no, I like it. Uh, Did it look like Jeff Goldblum? No, but it technically was the character from uh, First Class, the girl with the like the wings. The insect wings. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? That. Played by Lenny Kravitz's yeah. daughter. Really? But uh, in the book, she she's like a fly. She'll throw up on stuff to eat it. <laughs> Didn't her yeah. and Beat get together, and then yeah. she laid eggs? Yes. Nice. Beak, it was Beak, messed up. That, the 2000 X Men is messed up. You don't. Beak read is it. one of those like, oh no, he was born hideous. He looks like a humanoid chicken, and not like without like, feathers. It's crazy. Yeah, not not like the chicken from uh, from a Family Guy where he's all buffed Horror. up. No, he's like a scrawny. <laughs> he looks horrible. He looks bad. So he hooks up with yeah. They have they have fly chicken babies. It's, not, it's so bad. <laughs> so two mutants. It's not like uh, two negative numbers being multiplied no. together. Yeah, it would have been funny if they had nothing but normal children. What, right. what they decided was when two mutants uh, get together, it can either go where it negates each other, like Victor, not Victor Creed, but uh, what was his son's name? Mystique. Apollo. Uh, um, oh, there's a new Graydon. movie called Apollo. Have Creed? you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> what it was was it was uh, Sabretooth and Mystique had a Mystique's child. Mystique's got with everybody. And it was a human. And of course, he grows up hating mutants, mutants. because he's not one. And then I just got, to show you how old Mystique and and Sabretooth are. And then then there's the flip side where if it's two mutants, the child can get both their powers. Oh, so that's why that's why Nightcrawler's blue, but he yeah, he can but he's got uh, Ezekiel's power. Yeah, but, because again, Mystique and yeah, as, so, as, 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 yeah, yeah, as but what if like a Azale, fire guy, like that. Uh, and like, a nice guy, a fire the equinox, yeah, fire and ice person get oh, together wow. and they have a equinox, no. a water baby. Yeah, okay. they have a water baby. <laughs> Uh no, uh, Equinox was this guy that had the powers of uh, Ice Man and the Human Torch. Oh god! But what he would do is like oh he's half and half, wasn't he? he? Like his bottom oh. half would be on fire and his top half would That's be That's right. Ice. I remember him now. Huh. I'm sure he was like a like a two shot. So it was, so, it was a team up. So so if Ice Man <laughs> and Firestar had sex, then Hydro Man would be the baby. There you is go. that what we're saying? Hydro Man, yes. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Sam Smith's writing on the wall video reveals new glimpses oh, of Spectre. Mm, I'm getting so now, excited. November 6th, the Spectre. Am I so wrong, excited. or is this the first first James Bond song sung by a dude? Oh, no. Goldfinger was sung by... No, not Goldfinger. Thunderball. View to a Tom Kill. Jones. Oh, yeah, View, View to a, a Kill was Duran Duran. Uh, Living yeah. Daylights. Okay. I was um, just making sure. Oh, no, yeah. There's been Okay, tons but, of but they're not as... I guess View to a Kill was a big hit, even on the radio. Yeah. But it's mostly who was it last or uh, 
Thunder. Um, let's Adele. Uh, Adele. Adele was yeah the last one to do. And, and Madonna's Chris done it. Oh yeah, Chris, Chris Cornell. Cornell. Yeah, uh, that's right. And, uh, he did. Uh, did um, what was that? Was for Casino Royale. Yeah. Okay. And so. then uh, Quantum of Solace had another way to die, and that was a Jack Black, Alicia Keys. Wait, duo. Jack Black. Yeah. He, he did, did Jack another White? way to die, and for Quantum of Solace. Did he sing, or was he just not Jack Black? Sorry. Oh, we'll no. see now. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Jack, Jack White. Black. Okay. Jack White. <laughs> yeah. Now I want yeah, to see Jack Black do it. And then James Bond. Got to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh God. What is his band? Um, Tenacious, Tenacious D. D. Yes. Tenacious D. No, that would have been sorry. Jack White. I meant Jack White. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Let's see where you got the mistake. Uh, do, have you seen uh, at Walmart? They have a display of. Probably about fifteen Bond mm-hmm. DVDs. I have like, because I yeah. want to buy them on Blu-ray. And then, like on the other side, it's all like the classic Universal, Universal horror, horror. Mo- yeah. or That's Universal the thing, monsters. Because I've had to make a decision because I have a limited amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> so I have decided buy the Universal monsters because they'll go away before the James Bond will. Yeah, okay. that's true. Once Halloween's over, and they all do have special features on them too. I checked them out. Yeah. They all have like multiple commentaries. The biggest problem with those those Universal up, Monsters, they have the Legacy up. Collection down at the bottom. That's what I've been buying because it comes with all the movies. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I got Dracula. That's what I got. Okay, I got Dracula. It has Abbott and Costello. <laughs> that's right. Meet Frankenstein, which has Dracula, Dracula in it. In it. The only yeah. the only it's, other time Bela Lugosi yes, played only, Dracula. Yes, right. he only played him twice. Now, but I also got the Wolfman one, and the Wolfman also has. Abbott and Abbott Costello, Costello meet Frankenstein because he was in that. And guess what? Yeah. Guess what's in the Frankenstein? <laughs> Abbott <laughs> Costello <laughs> meet Frankenstein. Oh. So if you buy all of them, you double up. No, see, Triple I'm glad up. you reminded me of that because I keep looking at because they do have an Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, Wolfman. Yeah, they whatever. got an actual DVD. That's and I'm got... going, do I have that? I think yes, I've you do. got that. Yeah. So now well, I'm, Abbott, now Abbott and Abbott Costello meet met Frankenstein. They met the Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. And the mummy. Me. There you go. And then on the other side, they've got Star Wars. They've got the six films collection and then just the three. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for the long rumored, but still hasn't come out, uh, original theatrical cut Blu-ray before there I buy go. that. Yeah. And then they've got Pitch Perfect, too. Also oh, well, that way. that was a month. I, I don't need to look at that. I bought that the day it came out. Oh, oh nice. Well, good for you. I'll have to borrow it. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I got the... Uh, the the worst thing about and and nowadays it's like if you buy just the DVD it comes with no extras yeah, yeah pretty you much. have to buy the it Blu-ray sucks. and if you want like the deluxe model you have to buy the 3D Blu-ray <laughs> yeah crap but yeah I, got, I have Thor on 3D Thor two the Dark World on 3D Blu-ray that I will never use because I don't you don't have, have a, a 3D TV why did you buy it on Blu-ray somebody got it for me for Christmas oh okay oh, it yeah. had the reg it has regular DVD okay. it has Blu-ray it has Blu-ray oh, okay. 3D mm. I don't need all that shit. I yeah. just need really the Blu-ray. But. So, of course, what we did is we got home. We watched, out of Age of Ultron, we watched all the cutscenes, mm. And it's like, why didn't they add this? This could have made, this This mm. makes more sense than what was yeah. in the movie. Hmm. I, you could tell watching that movie there was a lot missing. Uh, yeah. Oh, Hiddleston, uh, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, Hiddleston. Hiddleston uh, was in it, and they cut his scene. <laughs> he was in the, uh, the Thor vision scene. And they said, I well, was wondering why that was a Heim- Heimdall instead of Loki. Well, they said the problem sense. was every time they'd show it to a test audience, they read too much into it. Uh, that, oh, Loki's behind all this. Loki's behind Ultron. Loki's, well, Loki's behind everything. It's like, no, no, it's just, it's just a vision. You know, it's not. <clears throat> so that's why they cut it out. But uh, Well, that you know, the magic hot tub scene is expanded upon in that. I saw that. Where Thor gets in the magic hot tub. Oh that, that, right, yeah. but but he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed it, by it spirits. Expl- and it makes explains it explains it. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, that whole scene. Yeah, right. That that yeah, that, that was very made no yeah. sense. No. And he goes into like talking about the inf- infinite six. Uh, yeah, about all the gems. Yeah, and he explains that the mind stone is inside the. Th- it it makes so much more sense. I do not yeah. know why they cut that out. I think it was just. I think it was just time. I think well, it was just too much. The story I than... heard is that uh, Joss Whedon didn't want that in there, and Marvel's like put that in there, and Joss Whedon's like I don't want that in there, and they're like put that in there, and then there's some other scene that he's like, okay, if I put that in there, can uh, we I have keep this, this scene? scene? Yeah, and I he's remember like, yes, that. fine. If you put that in there, we'll let you have that scene. But he trimmed the shit out no, of it because but... he didn't really want it in there to begin with. No. Yeah, but it was a good scene. Yeah, I think it makes a lot more sense. And if we're going to talk about, because the mind gym is a, a big part of that plot. Oh yeah, 
Since you got, you haven't been watching Shield, have you? No, okay. I haven't been watching. Shield. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure I can get away with spoilers since now Age of Ultron's on Blu-ray. You know, everyone's saying. Strucker dies. Funny. Oh <gasps> shit! What the fuck? Which was, which was a horrible. I always hate, I that. hate that too. That he struck and he died off screen, didn't he? Yeah, he's like, That's oh yeah, look, here's a picture on an iPad of him dead. Uh, and that it reminded me. I'll, I'll get back to this. Uh, it reminded me. Sleepy Hollow started last week as well, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, here's the big bad, the headless horseman who's been in two series. Oh, the first five minutes he gets defeated and someone like drains his power. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> what the, well, what's the point of having you know, Sleepy Hollow but, without this? Uh, the story's going to be about him. Having to, it's a comeback story now. Um, but He's going to go off to Russia in the winter and lift stuff. And, yeah, and run like with a log. Okay, no, on his, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, Getting we'll get back. Stronger. This last episode <laughs> of uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., they've introduced, uh, was it Andreas Strucker? His son. Oh, gosh. So yep. we're going to have another Baron Strucker. Strucker. Ah. And they're putting back together Hydra, him and. Uh, okay. yeah, but then the movies are like, yeah, we don't have anything to do with television. The movies stay dead. In the movies. Uh, apparently, there, there has been a leaked trailer of uh, Civil War. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to Civil War. And and uh, Cap Captain America is talking to Agent Hill and goes, mm. "Okay, well Nick Fury's doing this, and Coulson's running Shield. Where does that leave you?" So they're actually at least acknowledging... Oh, they're going to acknowledge that Coulson's, Coulson's alive? alive. Yeah. yeah, you know, I felt like... I've only watched the first episode now of yeah. the new, you know, this new uh, season, but uh, it feels like there is more cohesion. I don't know if they're, it's just the show trying to do that well, more. Well, I hope so, because if I do not see Vincent D'Onofrio as the kingpin beating the shit out of Tom Holland at some point, <laughs> I am going to be pissed. Uh, they did say uh, Kevin Forge Feige Feige did say that that the TV and the the movies would be more tightly because connected. Daredevil is so yeah, good it, and it is so closely. It tight feels to like it. I don't. It seemed like they made a lot more references. Oh, and than they do in the second like crossover episode stuff. too. You yeah. Know. Okay. Well, that's so, good. I like that. Might have been a Joss Whedon thing that because you didn't wanna... um, the the big thing that happens in Civil War the comic, you know, the the school gets blown up. Yes. Stanford. Well, well, the trigger in this one is the con or the the city being lifted up in the air by Ultron. Oh, right, yeah, yeah which, which, makes which, sense. The thing is, it had nothing to do with people with superpowers. It was a I crazy why, alien yeah. or a crazy robot. Well, I'm guessing they're like, well, an asshole in an iron suit built this guy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it should be against Tony Stark. Well, I don't know if that's you know. Well, and see, that's Hulk, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch help save the world. world. Tony Stark's the one they should be mad at. And they said right. that's why he in the in the movie he's on a side with the government because he feels so guilty because he no. created Ultron and and they cars. might be a little mad at Vision too because he's kind of part of you know well, Ultron yeah, created no, him and they might right. not trust him. Well, do they really know what happened? Or do they just see, like, well, that thing's flying around and has superpowers. It must be a super yeah, thing, too. Yeah, they I might know. just say they, super. They may not know the origin. Nuts. Yeah. Uh, the Flash was new this week, last night. Oh, yeah. It was? I haven't, opening, yes. I, haven't, I thought haven't that was until yet. next week. Holy nope. crap, I missed the. Well, maybe the, my DVR recorded it. And I do so, have it set up. Arrow tonight, right? An arrow tonight. I haven't got to watch Go Monday's Gotham yet, but yeah, that's been yeah. new. And Gotham's oh, actually been pretty. I can't spoil the first that episode. For you. No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh. I feel like again. I feel like that. That's it getting started better. Started out. Did, that's did you get good, to watch it? Did you watch foot. this week's Gotham? Uh, no, I, I watched the first oh. week. I don't I watch anything till the weekend. Oh, we, you God. got something good, don't you? Yes. Oh, I'll watch it tonight. Okay. Damn it. I know All this right. kid who's playing the Joker. Yeah. I kind of he's growing on me. Oh, he's yeah. good. He's, he's good really in this episode. Growing on me. Right. I hated him at the beginning. I was like, "Oh no. This I hope this is he, a red herring." He does. And then throughout that the he first episode of the season, I'm like, with "Okay. Hair. Okay, okay. I guess Well, they no. did say that you will uh Jerome's story will be told and in this season we will definitely get a Joker origin story. Really? Well, this. this kid could be it, because he's doing pretty good. I really like he him. He does. He's got it. Thing, it's, it's a Mark Hamill, Jack Nichols. He does a mix. Really good. Right. I, I felt mean, like that's what I didn't like about him at first, though. So I felt like he's Ledger. kind of trying to rip. He He's he's hamming it up so much, like trying to be those people. But I felt like it, yeah, kind of. I started to just see him as that character after that bit where, like, like, a couple episodes. Talking to the commissioner. And that other guy, I forget what the line was, but he pulls out his gun and just shoots him. And he turns around and he goes, that was my line. <laughs> I, that was so yeah. exactly something the Joker would have done. Oh, there's one. It's like, 
uh, he, he's taken over the television. He's like, yo, I need this, this, and this, or I'll kill everybody. Yeah. You know? and, and he goes, ah, <laughs> yeah, he's, and he's, he's just laughing hysterically. The camera cuts. He goes, well, I think that went well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he just stops. I like, really laugh, do like, laugh. I like this guy. I don't. Who I don't like, I still don't like Barbara. That oh, nut. she's she's oh, playing up more of a nut in this one. I think I, I don't actually know prefer her as as the crazy person. Now they have hinted that they're uh, not. I a, wish they would kill They her have off. considered a female Joker. Okay, uh, but no, no, no. I I, I you know agree. who I I want to see them. I want to get rid of Barbara. Barbara's not important anymore. Get rid of her. I want to see like you know what happened to Poison Ivy. Barbara. We never did no. see. I mean, <laughs> there was a young in the like oh, the right. very there first. There was a Pamela was Isley. Yeah, yeah, she was on stuff. Uh, she Selena's was on friend. like like Bill, not billboards, yes. but she was on all. What the happened world to her? Yeah, don't know. Well, Where's Victor Freeze? What happened to Jonathan Crane? Crane? He was in an episode. Where are these? I want to see these. Guys. I don't care about Barbara. <laughs> now, see, that's what I thought happened because they show like a teaser for this last episode. Right, I remember. Yeah, and they they There's they, they move a body, and... and this this fume stuff goes off, and they're doing that vibrational yeah, thing yeah. work, and someone's walking down the aisle, and I thought that was going to be Crane. Yeah, because it oh, looked like the, the so effect good. of the fear gas in the movie. Yeah, but apparently I want to see not. him come back. I. I'm sure he will. I, you know, they. I mean, they set it up. They they ought to return to it. Okay. He could be an intern at Arkham or something. How old was he? He was like 15, 16 or something. Oh, something like little, that. Just he was a little kid. older than Batman. Batman. Yeah. Um, but the Flash was good. The only thing that yeah, the, the special that effect really is still like... good. Uh, they did Adam Smasher this oh, episode. Good. Okay. But I'm they hope, went. Oh, I hope that recorded. They went with <laughs> instead of him getting, he got bigger. Flash? But instead of the whole just like growing in size, they did the whole Ang Lee like Hulk, almost like a balloon. Like it'd get fat, like it like whoop, like it, um, like it almost blow up a little bit. Or mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Kinda. It's like I, okay, here's like Popeye his foot, when he eats spinach, and, and, <laughs> and instead of just getting bigger like this, it go like you know, it almost like, like it, expand out and then form and back, oh, back I to get normal you. size. So it's yeah. like not a controlled like just. You know, yeah, it's like he knock Chuck. It's, yeah, but he goes, oh, <laughs> like I'm one a, arm. Ah. Yeah, one arm gets bigger first, and then yeah, it's, and it okay, I get look. you. Apache Chief, everyone. Yeah, yes. Apache Chief. Yes, <laughs> racist. Nice. No, no. What was that from? Super Super Friends. 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 Yeah. yeah. I actually only know it from Harvey Birdman, attorney. That was hilarious. <laughs> like I never the first episode. He spills the think. coffee on his junk, and he can't. Birdman and they the get they got the the who is it the woman who's Todd giving a deposition. She starts doing it. And she's got like right. flowing native stuff. And then, right. Well, she like, pulls the thing out of her hair, and like it comes. Yeah, he. And he basically said he can't perform sexually anymore because he spilled the hot coffee on his junk. And then all of a sudden, you just hear like Enoch Junk, and it's like case dismissed. Yeah. <laughs> that was like my favorite. That was like, a old, really good one. Uh, adult Swim show. That was like one Harvey of the Birdman. early Adult oh. Swim shows. That and like Space Ghost Coast to Coast and uh, mine was always C-Lab. Venture Brothers, but they yeah. just they don't have the vested interest to do Venture Brothers well, anymore. Well, it's apparently supposed not. to be coming. That's what they keep time. saying, but you can't make one season every five fucking years. Uh, apparently, you can. <laughs> uh, one of the bigger hits that we've had on the, the Facebook page, which mm-hmm. younger fans are excited about this, mm-hmm. uh, they're bringing Jason is it Jason Rush to uh, uh, the Flash. Jason Rush is <laughs> the, well, he's got a perfect name for it. Yeah. He you hear is, that silence? That's, yeah. Okay. Uh, set it up when uh, Caitlin was trying to figure out what happened to, to her boyfriend yeah. and oh, Dr. Stein. They bring in uh, Stein's lab assistant, and he starts talking about the Firestorm Matrix. Oh. It's that yeah. guy. It's technically something happens to Ronnie, so now it's going to be this kid and the professor fusing to become Firestorm. What happened to... You'll have to watch the show. I'm not... Um, I'm he not, got blown up by a particle accelerator I'm explosion and became a super it. flaming guy and crazy. Was he like, I'm in a mill, damn it. I deserve more money. It you can't might. replace me. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, guess see, what? What happened, it's... And not to we get don't into need this to whole, spoil it. I mean, well, not gonna... to get into this whole thing, but he was one of those characters that was the whole diversity for ver- diversity's sake. Mm-hmm. They kill off Firestorm. They I give this, this kid his powers. He could merge with anybody. The problem was whoever he merged with, he had a. If they stayed Firestorm too long, he'd burn them out. He'd kill them. So they. So the they, professor would. Wait, he would. He he would burn Firestorm out, or Firestorm no. would burn the kid out. No, if if 
I'm Jason Rush, and I merged with you. I could merge with anybody. Yeah, become Sexy. Firestorm. But if we weren't careful, you would burn out. Okay. Oh, just in general. Anybody yeah, you're would just burn my out. power source, okay. and I could use you up. Oh. And then when we split, you just dead. use and abuse you. Yep. I know people Bitch. like that. <laughs> but then what happened is then he then he teamed up with the professor who could handle it, and then later it was him and this is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get all up in you. But, and then it was him and Ronnie. It was okay. Jason and Ronnie instead. Of, yeah, so it's, ah. But I'm excited once like again. Garrick's. Some sort of really bad slash fic. Yeah. Oh, oh it's out God. there, I'm sure. Um, oh, Let me even more explicit. Oh, I'm sure it is, too. The, the voice. Oh, be. real quick. Matt, uh, get on that. You guys remember the old Flash show? Mm-hmm. You remember the, the two cops? The two bumbling cops is no, I don't remember, remember that. It was one. almost like a uh, not a Laurel and Hart, but it was almost like a uh, Abbott and Costello team. Almost, they're two cops. One's like, I'm gonna find out who the Flash is, you know, and or Scrunch and Crud from yeah. Power Rangers or whatever. Yeah, there's skull. always yeah, it's Bulk and Skull. They, they okay, were there whatever. for comedy relief. One of them is in the new episode. He's the mayor of Central City. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so, so it'd be yeah, great if he had worked the same his way name. up the ranks. The same character? I I don't think so. Oh, I'd have awesome. to I'd have to look it up. But he's given the key See, to the flat. You always knew when Bulk and Skull were going to do something stupid because their music came on. <laughs> yeah. It was the Benny Hill music. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it just basically. And then they point and laugh at him. We're going to find out who the Power Rangers are. Exactly. Oh, Bulk and Skull. <clears throat> and they stuck around like all the way up to. Man, that show. They were in it forever. Oh, they were in their 30s. I mean, they I were think old. They, were past, old. they might have been almost in their forties. Wasn't there at one point they had like Uncle Uncle Soans or Uncle Skull? Aren't you going to teach me how to? That eat happened the fire? in Power Ranger Samurai, where it was Bolt came back, but the guy who played Skull didn't. So uh, it was another guy. It was, um, his, but it was his nep- It was like his his. It was Skull's son. Oh, I thought it was his nephew. Or something. No, yeah, it, it was, was Bolt's nephew because he calls him Uncle Bolt. Oh, yeah. What's the name of that guy? Oh, oh, oh! I almost had it. You know, like in the Ernest movies, the fat guy and the skinny guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh crap! It was always like Ernie a cook or, or something like I that. Can I can picture I, them. I picture that own wasn't. Own. Okay. Anyway, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, that wasn't Win- Jonathan Winters, was it? No. It, no, he kind of. I could see where he yeah. get that. There was kind of resemblance. Uh, he was in a lot of stuff in the eighties, though. That yeah, guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Comedy. All right. Well, so, uh, yeah, we had a couple of finales this week as well oh, as yes. the, uh, the, Fear the Walking Dead. I didn't watch Dead any of them. And uh, The Strain. The Strain. The Strain is going the way of The Walking Dead. They're using The Walking Dead formula. Mm-hmm. Things are happening sooner or later than in the books. People are dying in the books or staying alive when they yeah. shouldn't, you know. And it's just one of those, like, I know where this is going. Wait up, damn. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't supposed to do that to that character. It's starting to be like a Japanese anime where they started making the anime before the guy had finished well, writing no, the Well, no, the, the book's pretty much done. Yeah. Now, see, and that's the thing. I'm reading the comic books. I'm reading the trade, mm. which has been adapted from the novels, I believe. Yeah. So I don't know how it's been changed. Wait, there was a novel? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much it's been changed. I might be reading a, a bridge version in the comics. So wait. So they adapted the comic from the novel, which probably changed stuff. Then they adapted the show from the comic, which then changes stuff um, even further. But like I said, I don't know if they're taking things from the novel that's not in the comic. No, I don't know. So who knows? I didn't even know there was a novel yeah. that goes along with the strain. Yeah. Yeah. The strain. I don't know. I. It's still. It's. Yeah. It's getting a little. I, I don't know. I still. But hey, at least the Silver Angel wore his mask, and he hey. got in. He actually did some fighting in, yeah. in this line, or didn't he? He he geared yeah. up to fight. I can't actually remember if he. Yeah, actually, they were I don't fighting. Remember actually was, seeing him fight. I mean, he wasn't doing the whole tearing off heads and stuff yet. But right. He was, yeah, but it was. Yeah, that was. It was a good mm-hmm. finale. I felt. You know, it was one of the best, probably the best episode of the season. I thought. Yeah, but it once again kind of it picked it, up. It, well, it should be fills, the last one. Yeah. Yeah. It, but the the whole the rest of the season was I felt pretty. Kind of mediocre, really. Yeah, it's just, it feels like one long, you know, there was nothing special. There was no special, kind of like The Flash. The Flash is, this season's all about Earth 2 and multiple universes. Yeah. The Strain is just one long story. Mm-hmm. There's no special going to this town or doing this or, you know, like The Walking Dead. So it's just, we're just telling the story. It's just, we're just so happened and had to take a six-month break. 
So now oh, we're just you, continuing. Yeah. That, that reminds me of... Um, I occasionally watch From Dusk Till Dawn, the series. Yes. I want to watch How I don't is that? Ray. I want to watch it. It is... Oh, gosh. Well, the first season is, let's take the movie and Remake. let's just add so much bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it was like episode six before they even get to the titty twister bar. Oh, wow. So it's, it's just the two guys, the bank robber guys? Like they, okay, yeah, but they then, kept that. okay. So, so it was like five episodes of them with, with hostages or what? Yeah, no, it's crazy. No, it's like them robbing banks and doing shit like that. Okay. And a lot of the same stuff happens. And then they take the hostages and they go down there. But then, like... Do they have the, would you please look my pussy for me scene? I don't think so. I don't Is know. There's a, I missed some in yeah. the middle because I got bored. Oh. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, bored. when are we going to get to the bar? So, and does El Rey censor that, like, language oh, shit, and no. stuff? No. no. Okay. All right. El Rey's... No, no, no. They say fuck. They say shit. Um... They say stuff like that. There's violence. That girl walks around in a thong for like eight fucking episodes. <laughs> the Selma Hayek girl? Yeah, the Selma oh, Hayek girl. Yeah. Uh, she's, oh man. She's not, maybe not as hot as Selma Hayek, but still pretty. Oh my gosh, that woman is gorgeous. Is there, is there, <laughs> is there a sex machine character? Yes! It's gotta it's, be. Is it's it Tom Nick Savini? Nick Nolte's son. Or, oh. or no, no. Busey? Not, Nick Nolte. Sorry, I get Nick Nolte and Gary Busey. You see. It's Gary Busey's son. He plays Sex Machine. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. That's not good. And he's casting. like a professor when it starts out, and then he becomes a vampire. Oh wow! Well. And then like, okay, so so the the Quentin Tarantino character whose name I can't remember. Okay. He like becomes a vampire, but you know how in the, like the movie I think they killed him. Yeah, the brother. They killed him like right away. Yeah, no, right. they don't kill him. Yeah. So then him and the female vampire fall in love, and oh, then they God. try to take down uh, Fez from that '70s show, who's actually another evil vampire. So now, is this done by Quentin Tarantino or is this no. Robert Rodriguez? Yeah, yeah, okay, he, yeah. So. He worked on it. I don't know. I if actually, he wrote or directed it. He, but. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's that involved, but he, you know, he collaborated. Raise his network. Yeah. Right, he, and I heard an interview with him. Uh, he did on uh, I think uh, what WTF with Mark Maron. Like he did an interview, and it was really great. You guys should check it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he talked about that, like how he he brought Quentin in to you know, and they collaborated on the movie, um, and then he kind of like finished it mm -hmm. and and put it out. You know, uh, Robert Rodriguez kind of finished it, and he like added the whole thing about the. The, the temple, you know, behind the bar and all that, like the final scene of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he thought that's – and uh, Well, because that focus is heavy in this thing, that they go down, like, into the temple. Right. And, and shit, that's, yeah. That's what he talks about is, like, he always thought that was a really cool idea, and he wanted to explore that, that The more. bar yeah. is actually built on top of a buried Mayan yeah. temple. Right, but yeah. that was just kind of tacked on. That was not part of the original concept at all. He just kind of thought that would be a cool shot. You know, and then uh, – and but he also when he made the movie he kept all the rights and that's why he decided to make the series for El Rey because mm -hmm. instead of paying somebody for syndication or whatever for some other show because they didn't have enough money to like shoot like or or they didn't have a lot of money to make original mm -hmm. content it so looks, he's just like it looks I good. own this it does. It looks people like, a like Robert that Rodriguez. Yeah. yeah so I know he's like heavily involved in mm -hmm. it I'm not sure if he's actually directing and writing it. I don't know. I'll have to look next time yeah, I watch an episode I mean, to see it's if one of those, it looks I'm good. I'm going to have to try to find it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... And I don't get El Rey either, so... I do. It's yeah. awesome. It's the one of the best television networks I've ever had. Oh, I'm so yeah. happy I have it. Uh, uh, Doctor Who was new last week. Oh, right. Yes. Speaking of Is television that, channels... Are we three episodes in or Three four? episodes in, and they have I introduced something great. There is, is that a, a new scene. character? No, no, no. It's a, it's a concept. Let's put it that way. There's a scene where, of course, they show up somewhere. There's a group of people. They're getting killed off. And the doctor is very excited. He's like, come on, let's go figure this out. Let's. And she's like, uh, the girl. Clara. Clara goes, cards. He goes, what? She goes, the cards. So he goes over, and she hands him a stack of cards, of flashcards. And he's flipping through them. He's like, I'm sorry. This. He goes, I am sorry your friend died. I am <laughs> <laughs> Empathy. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's trying to t empathy training. I, yeah. I I am sorry your friend died. Uh, it was a very mournful time. That's <laughs> pretty funny. I'm actually surprised I don't watch this because he sounds like I like Peter. But oh, oh yeah, Walker. he's great. He's one of my favorite doctors. Oh, I really is, like but, him. Oh, here's what's pissing people. If it had off. been Peter Capaldi and Amy Pond, two Scots together <laughs> running oh. around, I would, that would have been the best thing ever. They they, have, have, uh, they, they took that. away a screwdriver, oh. which it's been done before. 
they gave him Sonic sunglasses. Oh, oh no! What? I want them and to give Moffitt, him a Sonic uh, question mark cane. Is this the nineties? And and the, and that someone asked Moffat why you did it, and he goes, "Cause we can." He more or less did it to piss people off. He goes, "I'm sure we'll bring the screwdriver back at some time." I don't know, but you know, it, okay, it advances because yeah. you know, it was a screwdriver. It made noise, and now it's a MacGuffin. It can get into anything and do anything. And right. He goes, so, so let's just take it to the extreme. Now it's sunglasses, and he puts on his sunglasses, and you're, you know, or whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but, but yeah. see, but Tenet I'm starting to get back 3D on 3D glasses that yeah. can see stuff that nobody else could. Uh, yeah. He had that. Oh, here's me playing devil advocate for Matt. Mm. I, I tech. I was in Walmart. And I know how big of a uh, NWO fan Matt is, and they had a Kevin. For life. They had a Kevin Hall and Scott Nash. What about no, NWA? No, Kevin Hall, Scott Hall and Scott Kevin Hall. Nash. Yeah, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. NWO. They're in their blue uh, jeans, their T-shirts, and they come with a little cans of spray paint, so they can spray paint the guys people. they beat up. And uh, and I keep trying to tell him it's still there. You gotta go get it. <laughs> And, and sunglasses or have sunglasses. The problem they is I can't get a Hulk Hogan in a Hollywood Hulk Hogan but, now because. But of hold up. They just released pictures. They're doing a wolf pack. Oh, my gosh. Kevin Nash. And they are doing Scorpio, uh, uh, Sting in red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, I would love it if they did wolf pack macho man. Well, you never know. You, you might want to get these now just in case they do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I, no. I got so much stuff to buy. <laughs> Apparently, WWE's ratings are going down. Really? So, mm. it, it's like everything else. There's highs. I mean, it peaks and valleys, yeah. and it gets hot and I cold. still don't know what's happening with Sting, and I, oh, I kind of don't want to watch. He hasn't even mentioned again. He no, shows I know. up, well, they're, does they, a pay-per-view, and then disappears. I think they're not doing that because they don't, I don't think they know. No, they don't know what to do with him. They, because, they, well, they, no, they, I think he's hurt, and they don't, oh. they don't know. If he's going to come back. There was talk because Seth Rollins apparently, like, I guess he broke Kane's ankle. He broke John Cena's nose, and now he's hurt Sting. Really? So it's like maybe it's not that Sting's 50-whatever years old. Maybe it's that Seth Rollins is not the most careful guy in the world. Hmm. Yeah, they – I'd like to see Seth Rogen in there with Sting. (laughs) I actually would maybe like, that maybe would be great, Sting like may be able to beat him. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he's not he's not doing too well. It's what two for two he's lost. I, yeah, he's built but up. I have the feeling. Well, it's not like these outcomes of these things are predetermined. Oh, no, no, yes, no. they are. That's <laughs> nothing to do with with David Arquette won the WCW <laughs> World Heavyweight Championship. Okay. That guy, he's a great wrestler. <laughs> Come on now, let's not. A, Did Jay you guys Leno, ever see Eight Legged Freaks? Jay Leno was in a match. <laughs> let's not uh, let's not get into this. Like he's so old, that's why he keeps losing. No, they wrote that he lost. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It, you know. All right. Okay. I, I was thinking about saving this, but uh, okay. going back to Gotham briefly, oh, just God. to say, probably the most exciting thing about that episode of Gotham was that in the middle of it, there was a commercial for the X-Files oh, coming in 2016. Yes. I, I just about geeked out. It oh, man. Great. I think I got misty. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Although I was looking at it, and I'm like, man, David Duchovny got fat, and Gillian Anderson looks anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have aged. But like, uh, huh. apparently the truth was out there in a jelly donut. Is yeah, what you're so talking? David Duchovny <laughs> needs to lose some weight. And Jillian Anderson needs to put on. Well, some. the last thing he was in was what was it California Californication, and he but, looked pretty. Yeah, that's slim what I'm saying. There. I remember the posters from Californication, and he looked like David Duchovny. Yeah, was that? Did you guys ever watch that show? No. I don't know anything about. Is it like okay? I guess well, you he guys was like a sex addict, addict but or I did, something. Okay, I, I did know. see X Files. I uh, fight the future. Yeah, which, which came I out missed. not too long ago. I didn't even realize it came out, like most yeah. people, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. It really flopped. Yeah. Well, that's because Did, did it, it even get released get at the theaters? For. It was about some Russians that were chopping off females' heads and trying to attach a guy's er, head to it. So it was a gay couple that wanted to have kids, so instead of adopting, they were going to make him into a woman. And okay. there was a child molester priest that had claimed to have psychic powers, and he was going to lead him to this killer. But he had cancer, and I think it was Billy Conley played the child molester. 
and it, it, that, uh, it was terrible. Wow, that sounds it like it was like an episode of the X Files, but like, why did you the waste yeah. that on that the movie? I was like, bring that's what you should have done with this. Pull that in as one of the episode episodes for bringing the X Files. Well, maybe back. I don't know. I have higher don't hopes bring, for this. Don't don't waste a movie like that. People yeah. want to know about what well, what what happened with the UFOs. What's the thing? Right, and that's what it. That's the impression I got from this. The, yeah, the little commercial. This is questions. all like mythology based. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm excited I think, about this. I mean, that's what it. That's what kind of. That's I will get like. you just a, like a little arc. Gillian Anderson and 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 Stay Puff, David Duchovny. Yeah. Well, and she was in uh, this this show called The Fall that I think it was uh, BBC produced, or and she looked good in that. Have like that ever... was just like this last year. So I don't know. Rewind. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen anything with David Duchovny for years. Oh yeah. No, um, but is it one of those that the time has come and gone? I mean, this movie should have been made twenty years ago. Yeah, they shouldn't and... have waited this long. This they should have done this instead of that movie ten years ago. Yeah. They should have done this. They should have brought the X Files back. But the yeah. problem is, is I don't think this could have happened without twenty four coming back. When twenty four left and then came back, hmm. I think that's what because now Heroes has come back. Oh yeah. You know, um, again, uh, ho hum. The last episode was kind of just a continuation of mediocrity on that show. Too. Um, you know, Arrested Development came back as a Netflix series. You see, uh, that that oh, yeah, it kickstarted community. All these, let's well, bring back shows people actually fucking liked. And yeah, so one's lost that. coming back. Yeah, per, I'm fr- I, I bet you know it's what? in the works. It very well could be. You know what? I'm waiting for. I'd watch it. I'm waiting for like a, a little promo to come up and and it's gonna be like. All of a sudden, it's like coming in 2016, and it's making your way in this world today takes everything you got. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! Cheers is coming uh, back. Yeah. And see, I was gonna match you with, or I was gonna meet you with that with the, the Bosom Buddies soundtrack, but now I can't remember. Oh. It. <laughs> Greatest American Hero. No. I'm yes. sure Cat Aren't they, they talked the about story. that? Yeah, been, yeah. I remember hearing about that a couple no, years ago. Yeah, talking about try and bring back. Yeah. I actually think Cheers could still work. To be honest, all those guys are still around, and they still. I mean, Ted Danson, like, ooh, but um, you know, he's well, still he's working. busy on CSI. Yeah, now. he's working yeah. on CSI. So I mean, it's not like, I don't know. I haven't seen. Well, Kirstie Alley, I've seen her on Weight Watchers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was it Fat Actress? Was her oh, show? Woody Harrelson. I don't know if they could get him back. No, oh, that might was... be hard. That'd be weird. That'd be but, oh, man, yeah. That what would, be would Woody awesome, be like though. now? Would would Woody Harrelson? Be willing to I play want... Woody like Woody, or would he have to be some kind of creepy? Uh, yeah, I know. Like hardcore. Oh guy? gosh, yeah. He'd be like some sort of Woody. The he was, you know, mayor of some city that legalized oh, pot, God. and he's, you know, yeah. I could see Harrelson putting in all kinds of caveats into his contract <laughs> where it wouldn't even be like Woody farm boy Woody anymore. They should make okay. They should have Woody be the bartender, and the owner should be Matthew McConaughey. All right, they could, rep- all right, all they could right. like do a True Detective season. Oh, that'd be Cheers. great! Oh, I actually would watch that series. <laughs> I would watch that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. You know what, Matthew McConaughey in the in the Sam Malone type role, and oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Man. hey, I that'd be great. It. And then Norman Cliff could still be there, and they could bring Kelsey Grammer back. Yeah, uh, that would. Actually well, he moved pretty- to Seattle though, right? Yeah, but they could bring him back. I'm right. Sure yeah, I guess so. Do. Lilith uh, moves back to. I don't know. I never watched Frasier either. I liked Frasier. I watched yeah. it some. I watched. Yeah. Some I like Cheers it. and I like Frasier. I like yeah. both of them. I watched Frasier quite a bit. I actually think I watched. Well, I watched Cheers more in the 80s and then I watched Frasier a lot in the 90s. I didn't ever watch Friends. That was. No. My, yeah, my, my, my wife watched Friends. And mm. We watched. Heather and I watched it and it was. Yeah. Uh, whenever I started getting married off and shit. <laughs> and it was the, <laughs> All I know is I'm Chandler. <laughs> Kind of like the whole moonlighting Chandler? thing, where yeah, if it that's hilarious because my wife is also is Monica basically. Like when she talks about there's a there's one when we watch it we were watching Friends on reruns because I didn't watch it when it originally was out where Monica has to have the bedspread with the flowers pointed towards the window because <laughs> oh. that's the way the flowers would grow if they oh, were real. God. That is the kind of crap my wife pulls. She's anal retentive about that stuff. Huh. So and I'm the smart ass Chandler. You know, and so you know that's weird. <laughs> it's art imitating life. Yeah, I don't know who, what, what friend I would be. 
Um, okay, I, I I also wanted to just throw out there if you guys have you guys have any have you guys played any of the Diablo games? No, no. I've seen the box art for yeah. Diablo. Yeah, okay, Diablo two is really fun. Uh, I never played the first one, but Diablo three, Candy and I have been playing. You can it's got local co op. So if you have anybody in your life that you like to play local co op with, I recommend it. It's really it's it's fun. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Matt Matt won't get this. I believe you will. You watched Orange is the New Black. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. I'm getting close to finishing the third season. We, uh, Funko seems to get licensing for everything. I saw those at Target. They have Orange is the New Black Fungo. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was looking down. I'm like, oh, there's some Star Wars and some Marvel. And what the? Orange is the New Black? Like, what the hell? What was the other one? It was uh, Fallout. Yeah, they had Fallout. Oh, yeah. Oh. Which kind of makes sense if you're, you're Target Marty. Mar- yeah, your target, Marty. Marty, we're gonna try to sell these to you. Um, yeah, that oh uh, man, that that game. I think it's coming in November. Is that what they're saying? I don't know. What game? But uh, Fallout Four. Oh, Fallout, Fallout Four. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's it's exciting. I was like, there's gonna be a Back to the Future game. Oh yeah, yeah. Lego. You like, know, actually, there is a pretty like fun uh, Back to the Future like mobile there, game that the, I downloaded. Actually, I think there might have been a Back oh, to the Future game because they there talked was, about like, unlike the Christopher NES Lloyd stuff, did the voice, but, but more are. That uh, uh, Michael J. Fox didn't. Somebody did, and I think the guy who does the voice for Michael J. Fox is the same guy that does Obi Wan Kenobi on the Clone Wars. You don't have to look it up because it won't come up on my Kindle. But I did post it to our page. Uh, Christopher Lloyd is doing a new movie about Doc Brown. Wait, what? Is it a documentary or really? is he going to be Doc Brown? No, he's Doc Brown. Uh, like Doc Brown saves the universe or something oh, like wow. that. Is it like some sort of fan thing or is this going to be like no, an actual? No, you will have to look it up. It's like is there our... going to be a universal logo and there's going to be a flying DeLorean? And... I, I, all they Holy did... shit, I would, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to have to find it. It's. Please tell me that's real because I would love to see. Because I don't see, really care about Marty. For some reason on, on this Kindle, it won't pull up everything. It's on our Facebook. Kindles are a pain in the butt. Yeah. So. <laughs> Unless you want to download. Hell, I might have forwarded uh, it to you. Well, I don't know. I'll, yeah, all I'm seeing. I, I guess. Well, I didn't look at the Facebook page. I just searched for Doc Brown new movie. And I'm seeing he is going to be in a, a short film in uh, this fall. Okay, what's it Coming called? Maybe that's what it was. Doc Brown saves the, the world. No, yeah, Doc Brown. Okay, it's a that's a little thing. disappointing. Okay, sorry. I I love Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, he's looking rough though. Yeah, he's definitely getting up there. I've heard some interviews with him. He's yeah, he's uh, what is he's like eighty or something oh, now, yeah. right? Maybe. You... Yeah, I know he looked old. Nineteen eighty four, whenever <laughs> yeah. eighty five, when Back to the Future came out. And shit, that was like thirty oh, years ago. Oh, they showed. They sh- I've seen a picture recently. They, it was a Mick, uh, Mick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Turned down a cameo in the new Ghostbusters film. I don't know why. He's retired. Man, he really retired. He's and like he Sean looks, Connery's yeah. retired. Yeah, he looks rough. Really? He lo- well, he just looks like an extremely old Rick Moranis. I mean, hmm. he's got to be in his, what, 60s, 70s I by think, now. Yeah. So, <laughs> but. Yeah, I... I have no hope for that Ghostbusters. I have no hope for that Ghostbusters no. either. I'll probably see it, but they, I don't know if I'll see it in the theater. They haven't even released any trailers or anything, right? They've been shooting it for mm-hmm. a while. Yeah, they, nothing yet. I just, I don't know. I they were. I'm so, so curious. I'm reserving not, judgment. I'm not against female Ghostbusters. It's just it seems like they are so desperately trying to do something different. Then do something different. Don't rehash an old right. concept. It, uh, that's yeah. That's the but opposite just, of my criticism. Is I feel like they're trying to do the same thing, but just change the fact well, that no, they're swap. not they're half men. Assing it. They want it to be completely different. So they're but they're half assing it. So they're like, yeah. how can we make this completely different from the original Ghostbusters? Well, all the original Ghostbusters were guys, so we'll make them all women. Exactly. There, it's completely different. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. They should. Well, I mean, I'm sure it'll be an original script, but I, yeah, they'll probably have a lot of references to things. Oh, I'm sure. I, I mean, if like two I'm curious to see what they're going to do. Chicks, it would not bother me in the least bit. But I don't think that just gender switching the whole thing is the answer. Right, right. They I, and I hope that they get in and actually set up the characters and stuff, and you know, yeah, and, and don't mm, just. I don't. Yeah. I. Mm. Uh, when recently uh, recently asked. Uh, Daniel Craig said he will play James Bond as long as I am physically able. That's fine with me. Really? I thought he just, or I mean, it wasn't the word just going around that he, he was, was done. I think he's got one more on his contract. 
So and that's so what, he's going to rock more five, of this. Huh? Yeah. He's going to put like ten of these <laughs> under his belt. Hey, as long as he's. I d- Roger Moore was getting to the point where he's just getting too old to make it anything now, close to believable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I like Daniel Craig, but I don't think I like Daniel Craig because it's Daniel Craig. I think that the writing and the direction in these last ones, except Quantum of Solace, not so great. But the the writing and direction in Casino Royale and Skyfall, and then how good Spectre looks like it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I'm liking it. I think because yeah. it's I, they are doing a phenomenal job. It looks amazing. It makes me want to be a jet setting super spy again. You know what I mean? It's uh, and how do you do that when the Cold War's over? But they're doing it, and it's <laughs> yeah, it's oh my gosh, they're so, doing such a good job with that with that franchise. Right what's now. this about? Will where Paramount's gonna? No, oh yeah, YouTube. it's there. It's live. Uh, the Paramount Vault. They have just released. A bunch of movies on YouTube for free, the full length movies, oh, and they're wow. legal. Really? And uh, yeah, it's and they've got. I I just kind of scroll down. There's Masters of the Universe was on there. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so uh, the shit you wouldn't watch on Netflix here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Nobody's gonna pay for this. Let's yeah, just this is uh, shit no one's gonna pay for. Yeah. Like, I, somehow I doubt Raiders of the Lost Ark is in there. Pernweed, Hamlet, the come the come. Is that the Mel Gibson sir? Hamlet? Yes. <laughs> Beneath the sender, love chum ones. scrubber. Oh, oops. Yeah, oh, I, apparently Air airplane. That's the like the, airplane. They've got like a little. Uh, they call it a, a sizzle, like the sizzle reel at the top, and there's like clips from yeah. Ghost Team One, Chainsaw Massacre Two, American yeah, Ninja not Two, Chainsaw Massacre. Just chain- well, the Texas Chainsaw Ch- not Massacre. Not Texas Chainsaw yeah, Massacre is, One. Te- yeah. Oh, okay. Like, well, and then two. like the, world the Colossus of, Susie of New, Z- New York, Conquest of Space. There's some. Kind of old, like, sci-fi type stuff. That's kind of cool, like... actually. Seven Men From Now. American Ninja 2. Conference. All right, American Ninja. We should do American Ninja in Marathon. Revenge you know of the I'm... Ninja. We never watched Robot Jock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we kept talking about doing that. Who directed that? I kept. I remember I kept talking about the director of that. Was that, was that Joe? That wasn't Joe Dante. I don't think that was Joe Dante. That can't be Joe Dante. It was somebody if weird. If that's Joe Dante, he fell low for even Joe Dante. Hey, the Colossus of New York. Yeah, he was just talking about that. Oh, that's sorry, how we got um, on this subject that we were okay. Because oh, well, it was Stuart said, Gordon. Uh, Stuart Gordon. Yeah, who uh, did uh, he did Reanimator, I believe. Oh, okay, that makes a little more sense. And uh, I think behind the door or from or what? what Joe Dante of Gremlins fame. Yes, uh, right. Burbs. He did the Burbs. From Beyond. Um, oh, what was that other movie he did? Um, I'll start naming Joe Dante movies. Oh, he did The Howling. No, uh, that's not what I'm thinking of. Let's see. But that is a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. But He, he was good. a master of of special effects. I mean, he did Gremlins 2. <laughs> or at least he surrendered. That's what, so that, you know what went wrong that. with Gremlins 2? Joe Dante's like, I don't want to do Gremlins 2. Yeah. They're like, we need Gremlins 2. I don't want to do Gremlins 2. If... Uh, we will let you do whatever you want if we can do Gremlins too. If you'll do Gremlins too, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do Gremlins too. I'm gonna drive it to the ground to make sure there's no Gremlins three. And that's exactly <laughs> what he did. In. But he did get. Uh... That ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, he directed some episodes of Police Squad. <laughs> well, that's oh, pretty Piranha. good. Piranha. No, that's not it. There's a uh, movie he directed. Explorers. That's it. It's Explorers. And Inner Space, which I I guess I could. <laughs> oh, see Inner Space was great. I loved Inner yeah. Space. Oh, and the Burbs. Yeah, the Burbs. I said that. Oh, With you Tom did. Tom Hanks. Okay. Sorry, I was I was searching. Uh, matinee. <laughs> did you oh, see did that? Matinee. The John Candy. Yeah, John uh, Goodman. Oh, John Goodman. Yeah, yeah John about uh, William dead, Castle, though. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. That's a it's an William awesome Castle's story. Castle's story is amazing. If yeah. you've never heard it. Yeah, check that check that out, guys. I saw a really Actually, good that documentary. movie's pretty good too, isn't it? I I remember liking I it. I don't remember much about the movie, but I there I saw an awesome documentary. I forget what it was called about William Castle, and it yeah. was just mm. he, that man was a genius. He wanted to be Hitchcock so bad. And yeah. He <laughs> yeah, he just but, didn't have the talent, but he could no, but make a he, spectacle. He he was he was a fun soul. It's yeah. that's what I, the best thing I can say about him is he right. really he knew whimsy. He knew how to make things just so much fun. Right. Yeah. And he, and for people who don't know, just like a little bit, like didn't he invent like smell o vision? Yeah. And, and, he, like, put, <laughs> and he put buzzers the tingler. Under the seat. Yeah, the tingler. And there's a scene if you've ever seen the movie The Tingler where all the lights go out. Like if you're watching this at home, you don't know what the fuck's going on. 
Oh, the screen goes dark, and Vincent Price's like, The Tingler! The Tingler's loose! It might be right under your seat! When that happened in the movie theater, somebody's seat would buzz. <laughs> <laughs> and they scream and go run it out of the theater. If you watch it on DVD, it doesn't work. Right, It was, of like, in the theater, they had rigged it up. Yeah. And he would have, like, stuff, like, I think he did House on Haunted Hill. Wasn't that his? I don't know. I don't know. Was that his? Could have been. But I know he had, like, stuff like skeletons would come flying out of the ceiling down at the audience during the movie. Oh, God. It was great. Yeah. And he did stuff like, oh, you had to sign a waiver before you saw the movie oh, in case you Lord. died of fright. Right. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah, it was. House on Haunted Hill yes. was William Castle. Oh, that, oh, his stuff is, uh, that is my suggestion for this week to the listeners. Go find William Castle movies and watch them. And look, look up and the history of that man. And if you can find that documentary, I forget what it was called, but it was a great documentary. Hmm. And, and just because that he was brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. He was a brilliant man, and he just he brought a lot of joy into people's lives. He brought joy into my life, and he was probably dead before <laughs> I was even born. Yeah. Was it the Curse of William Castle? Maybe that's a documentary about him. It I says don't know. It's just short though. No, this was a full length documentary. I saw it on um, IFC, it was a documentary channel or something. It was really good. They usually show it around Halloween. Yeah. Huh. Which is coming up. Yeah. So does your kid decide what she wants to be for Halloween? She's gonna be a raccoon. Okay. What about your kid? Ninja. What about your kid, Will? Oh. <laughs> Invisible person. Yeah, you were smart. You didn't have one. <laughs> Trash can fetus. No. <laughs> Dumpster baby. <laughs> Dumpster baby. Sorry. Sorry. Frowny face. <laughs> oh. I was told today that I was like, like, uh, oh, you're going straight to hell for making jokes about Heath Ledger. And I don't think I even made a joke about Heath Ledger. But they were like, that's worse than dead baby jokes. And I was like, dead baby jokes are just such easy fruit to grab. That's the problem with those. <laughs> Let me tell you a joke that made my friend. To this day, it's been 20 years since he first heard this joke. He still gets a chuckle out of it. Okay. How do you how do you make a dead baby float? No. Two parts dead baby, one part root beer. <laughs> <laughs> Rib shot. Oh, damn. And he laughs at that to this day. Every time? Uh, I'm not, if we hang <laughs> if out. If you said some... that again, I wouldn't laugh the second time. He'll sit there and, like, tell it to himself. Oh, two parts dead, baby. One part. And he'll chuckle. <laughs> so I, I don't know if uh, that's how dark he is. Yeah, you said this is a friend of yours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long, long friend. Dead babies in his root beer. Okay, well, uh, that is over. We're over an hour. Oh, yep. we are. Well, you guys oh, we want to cut it loose? We got to do the oh. trivia. Trivia. Okay. Mar it's Marvel trivia time. It's Marvel trivia time. time. Marvel and it ain't worth a dime. See if you can answer this old rhyme. It's Marvel trivia time. There you go. But you don't answer Turn rhymes. What? Answer? You said answer whatever. This old it, rhyme? it rhymes. Just whatever. Just go with it. Okay. Remember, these are from what was it? Late ninety. Oh gosh. Who's the think. most extreme? How many pouches does <laughs> okay. Deadpool have on his right leg? <laughs> well, no. Okay. <laughs> Who is the Invisible Woman's brother? The Johnny human, Storm. The human torch, Johnny Storm. Which X-Man is Psylocke in love with? Archangel. Uh, Archangel, Flomax. Uh, Flomax? I think there was... Uh, Betty Bad Radrock was... Wait, isn't Flomax... That's Cyclops like a one cholesterol <laughs> medicine, isn't it? She's a, she's a hot Asian. Everybody was wanting to tell uh, that. Yeah. She's a hot Asian that ran around in a thong jumpsuit. <laughs> I mean, come on. Who and is, the pouches. Um, who is Don't the even get started on the pouches. Two. Hank Pym. Was. They're divorced now. Because he beat on her. Well, it's well. She hooked up with Havoc for a while. Really? Yeah. The Hobbit? No, no Havoc. 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 I, yeah, Havoc. he said. I, 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 he says potato. I say potato. What incident triggered Iceman's powers? His uh, did puberty. he have to save his sister from a railroad? Mm. Uh, something like that. What is the Black Queen phobic of? Oh, that I don't know. I'd say growing old, because she's still, she's like a succubus. She takes people's lives. Mm. Oh, well, mean. Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, Archangel, so this must have been late 90s. <laughs> like, what, what day of the week is it? Uh, Hank Pym, Ant-Man, Giant Man, Goliath. As a teenager, he was attacked by bullies. Oh. oh. And dying. I think that's the, the, the amazing <laughs> friend's origin of Iceman, that he's had to save his... Now, now this is great. This is definitely a comic book answer. What is the the Black Queen phobic of? Dying permanently. <laughs> <laughs> because da 
dying is fairly common. <laughs> dying yeah. permanently is. Oh, Which... you've never died? Okay. Not Wh- yet. I'm here we hoping. go. Which of the five senses does Daredevil not have? Sight. <laughs> <laughs> what is Doctor Strange's real name? Doctor Stephen Strange. Strange. Doctor. I don't know if Doctor is part of his real name. But... He he went to medical school. What is Kazar the guardian of the, the Savage, Savage Land? Land. Ooh, who hey, is Colossus's sister? Magic. Uh, yeah, I was gonna do Ilian Rasputin. Yeah. I was gonna do a real name. Why did Maverick kill his wife? Maverick, because she a '90s character. Because she, <laughs> she wouldn't let him hang out with Goose anymore. <laughs> because she she kept telling everybody that he was cheating at cards. Maverick is one of those <laughs> characters <laughs> that. Once again, came from the Weapon X project. Oh, yeah. I had a backstory him. with Wolverine. He was one Definitely of those guys 90s. that had metal armor that had lines on it, but was somehow still skin tight. Yeah, and had uh, a mask with, with wires coming mm-hmm. out of it, big guns and, and he had guns. Yeah, that guy was terrible. She was a double agent. That's <gasps> why he killed her. Uh, Sight, Stephen Strange, The Savage Land, Elandra, a.k.a. Magic. No. She was a double agent. See, I, was gonna, I never knew how to pronounce that. Uh, Ilana, I, I knew Elandra. He's Russian. And her name was Elandra. In Russia, mutants have you. Oh, All oh, right. Uh, speaking of what you did, go see uh, Transylvania 2. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, what was the joke you were talking about? I might have missed it. You said there was a very oh, adultish. Uh, when, when It's when they set the kid down in front and he's like, do you want to watch your monster video? And he's like, yeah, yeah, okay. it's the cake monster. And then he goes, at the, oh, end, he goes yes. the real monster is diabetes. <laughs> yeah, it's like the cookie monster, it's the cake monster. And I just about pissed my pants. <laughs> of course, my wife, who's diabetic, didn't find it all that funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. I think all the other kids in the audience silent. There's one guy in the middle of the room. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Muppets was back on this week. Oh, I tried right. to watch it. Yeah, I tried to I watch forgot it. About my, it. My son got a laugh. Uh, 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 Kermit Hooks, uh, Hooks, Miss Piggy up with this guy. Can't remember some singer. It's, um, and he goes, Josh, Josh Groban. Groban. Josh he goes, yeah. goes and, and lately, my alarms have been waking me up instead of my own screams. <laughs> <laughs> and my son thought that was hilarious. I, just, I watched some of it, and I just remember she's getting a hot rock massage. In the background, you hear, ah! And then the Swedish <laughs> chef comes and goes, what to do? Oh, someone make a make it. Pork, 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 And I love it. I love it that uh, the bear, his kid was trying to sell uh, Girl, Girl Scout, Scout cookies. cookies. And so they gave it to the band. He's like, oh, he's always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave it to the electric mayhem. And they're just like, ow, 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 and almost just munched down on the cookies. I bet. And he's just sitting there with like a wad of cash. <laughs> <laughs> the implication is that all the electric mayhem are fucking high yeah, at the munchies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, oh, isn't do. that, yeah. That's the way it is. And then like Miss Piggy's like, I think the band should be acoustic. And Kermit's like, they're called the, the electric, electric mayhem. mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, uh, send all your complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. There is no complaints. Well, there probably is. There's probably complaints. And, well, if you don't have complaints, you can always go to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Scramble Braincast. You can see all the nice stuff. And you can like it. You can tell us how much you like the show. You yeah. love the show. You love the show. You can even comment and, and communicate with us Re- on there. Remember, remember, listening to the show, bigger penises, mm. instant bikini waxes for women. It's true. Painless that... instant bikini waxes. Painless and instant. You want to Both go brilliant? That's fine. It's just, you listen to the show and bam! It's done. You can put on. I, it's not bikini season anymore, so I don't know. Yeah, Everybody's really, probably like, letting their buckwheat. Well, if you're in if you're in Brazil, it is. Grill. Well, no, if you're in Brazil, but isn't like it's winter. Right, it's, not quite. Won't it be summer on the southern hemisphere anyway? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> going. It's Australia, spring right now. All our Australian listeners, instant bikini waxes. Yeah. Painless. So, oh, anyway, yeah, sure. Uh, we're also on Twitter at Scramblecast. I, we don't have to do hashtag where the F's Lando. Apparently nope. going to be in episode eight. There we know where go. he is now. We know where yeah. he's going to be. Thank you, Marvel. Uh, Wait, not Marvel. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> well, Disney, they're <laughs> Disney, Marvel, same thing. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, we're also Mega on Tumblr glorm. at scramblebrainscast.tumblr.com. Or you can just go to our website, www.scramblebrainscast.com. You can download all the new episodes. There's also links to the iTunes. Go there. Review us. Give us yes. five stars. Give us four stars. Give us three stars. Give us two stars. No, no. Don't do those other things. Do yeah. the five stars. Give us yes. one star. Just give us any stars. 
I'm like freaking Mario. I need a star. <laughs> true. It's true, guys. He is like Mario. Is this, is Mario the it makes him star? invincible. Mario yeah, it makes stars. him invisible. Yeah. yeah. Vin Vince invincible. Yeah. I need a star. I'm a Mario. <laughs> There's a lot of people that need stars in video games. Yeah, I know. Why are stars so powerful? I don't oh, well, know. whatever. Yeah. They're satisfying geometric shape. Mm, yep, there you go. Anyway. A little more complex than the square. Sure. Goodbye, Internet. <laughs> Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. <laughs>